great. Now, let's go over the birdie song one more time before we head down to the station. Remember the Conrad Birdie Creed, dear. No smoking till you're 14. All right now, shall we try it? We love you, Conrad. Oh, yes, we do. We love you, Conrad. And we'll be true. You can come sing with us if you want. What's the matter with her? Oh, she's just sad because Conrad's going into the army and she'll be too old for him when he gets out. I think she still has a few good years left. Look, why don't you girls head down to track 12 and I'll talk to her. And stay out of the bar. Hi. Hi, Mabel Peterson, Conrad's manager. Oh, come on now, that's no way to be. Things can't be that black. Smile. Little girl, this is an adult speaking. I order you to smile. Please? Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds and cheer up. Put on a happy face. Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy. It's not your style. You'll look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. Pick out a pleasant outlook. Stick out that noble chin. Wipe off that full of doubt look. Slap on a happy grin. And spread sunshine all over the place. Just put on a happy face. Then you'll feel fine I knew a girl so gloomy she never laugh or sing She wouldn't listen to me Now she's a mean old thing So spread sunshine all over the place Just put on a happy face Hurry, little girl. You better hurry up to get to go see Conrad before he leaves. Oh boy, would you get that stuff down to chalk 12 on the double? Rose, what are you doing? 
getting our things down to the station. Without any help from you, Albert. Rob, I'm sorry. I don't suppose a generous tip would make things up? Albert, why don't you go grab your briefcase and go find Conrad before the reporters find him? You know what happened last time. You hang on to it, Rose. I've got to wait for Mama. Speaking of your mother, have you told her about dissolving Almay Lou yet? Rose, I couldn't. Yesterday was the anniversary. Of what? Lou! Six years ago, he was hit on 181st Street in Broadway by a loaded beer truck. <gasps> Do you suppose that's Mama? It's either her or the all clear. You, Sunny! Mama! <laughs> Mama? What's the matter? Oh, nothing's the matter. I'm just feeling a little faint from the subway. Mama, I told you to take a taxi. Taxi? What do I need with taxis? A mother can ride crowded on a dirty subway full of people. Full of people who wouldn't give you a seat if your life depended on it. But what's the difference? I'm only a mother. And for a mother, a subway is good enough. <laughs> Here's the money I save by not taking the taxi. Buy some candy with it. <laughs> oh, she. Mama, you know Rose Alvarez from the office. This is Rose Alvarez? Rose Alvarez? Rose? What happened? <laughs> you had a sudden shock or something? Excuse me, I think I'll go see if Conrad's here now. By all means, Miss Alvarez. <gasps> Look how pretty she looks. It's a wonder to me some older man hasn't come and snatched her up. With brains and a few dollars, you'll be a catch for a convalescent. Goodbye, May. Goodbye. Call me Mrs. Peterson. Mama, what I wanted to discuss with you is sort of about Rose. Maybe you'd better sit down. Why? I know my sonny. He loves his mama. He wouldn't say anything that would break her heart. What about Rose? Well, it's about Lou too. Lou! Where are you, Lou? Struck down by a beverage I faithfully consumed for 32 years. What about Lou? Well, Mama, it's just that Rose thinks, and I agree that I should give up on me, Lou. <sighs> Mama, what's the matter? Nothing's the matter. You killed me, that's all. Lou, I'm coming. I'm on my way up. <laughs> Mama, you don't understand. It's just that Rose thought, I mean, I thought, I mean, here's some money. Take a cab home. The subways are too crowded. Nothing is too crowded for a mother. I'll take the IRT. That's the worst subway. Wait a moment. How many blocks is it anyway? Only 107? I'll walk. Mama. Take care, son. Enjoy yourself. Keep your money in your inside pocket. Be careful crossing the street. Wear your galoshes. I need a hot lunch. <laughs> Albert, I thought you were going to break it into her gently. Well, as a matter of fact, Rosie, I didn't tell her at all. I mean, she was so upset about my leaving, I thought I'd better wait.